Hello Buddy Fighters, welcome back to another Buddy Fight video. Today we're looking at some more cards that were leaked for Chaos Control Crisis. And um, I forgot when the uh, big Vanguard and Buddy Fight Festival is, but they're going to be pre-selling these packs um, there. So, fortunately I'm not going, but these cards are looking incredible. Anyways, we've got an amazing artwork of Wisdom and Gear God right here for Ruler of Chaos. If I can talk, Gear God 7 right here. With an amazing artwork, you got your Chaos Stamp, Wisdom, looking incredible. We've also got this random flag, which Wisdom is just like, what the heck am I posing for? We've also got this Shido flag, because who doesn't want more Darkest Dragon Ball flies with Shido? And tons of other interesting cards, and especially more toilet cards, because everyone uh, loves toilet cards. So, anyways, we've got this incredible artwork of Annihilation Black Death Dragon Abigail. Like, Bushiroad is just stepping up their game with these artworks of these cards. Just the absolute way that it looks and how it catches the eye looks absolutely incredible so we've also got this one right here for bowmaster rebel gallows which has a really interesting ability so let's have a look at it it's a size one monster death zero power zero critical so you think it wouldn't be too great only 2000 defense so it can easily be destroyed by a spell or something counteract during your attack phase there are no cards in battle choose a monster on your opponent's field and rest this card if you do stand the chosen card and that card attacks your opponent and then as a second ability counteract Okay, well, Gage, if you do stand this card, this ability may only be used once per turn. So basically, you can use your opponent's monster to attack themselves twice. So for example, they have Gear God on the field, I can use this card, rest this card, stand their Gear God to attack themselves, deal 3 damage, and then pay 1 Gage, and then use the ability again, and use their own Gear God to attack them again, to deal another 3 damage. So this card looking really interesting. It's not broken, really, to say, but it does seem pretty strong with the resting ability being able to stand your opponent's monsters but again if your um, opponent doesn't call any monsters or any monsters with high critical you're kind of depending on them to bring out something that you can use against them anyways incredible artwork right there Shido the pen everything it's a really interesting card right there tons of other stuff for black dragons there are so many here's another death card that um stand the chosen card attacks your opponents and basically does the same thing as Galos except um you can only use the ability once uh, there's also this new um, black dragon uh, weapon right here like there's just so many new cards as well uh, What was the card I was looking for? Here it is black ritual. I believe I went over this card last time a really strong card for gauge and draw I believe oh, yeah, the legend world card here. It is for Durandel. There's a new version of Durandel right here If I can find it there it is this artwork looks incredible immortal sword of the king Durandel I already ran over this effect, you guys can pause the video, have a look at yourself. But my goodness, you have to admire that artwork, it looks absolutely incredible. Also, you got more toilet cards, because, you know, you, you gotta have more toilet cards. And this, uh, poor impact, of gal, uh, about to get dragged into the toilet, I don't even know how to describe that. But yeah, so many cards, and also there are a few Star Dragon World ones I would like to point out. So, apparently we're getting some offense for Prism Dragon items, so let's have a look. Mixed Crystal Dragon, Bald Wind. Uh, 6 lots of power, 5,000 defense, critical 2, size 2, Prism Dragon. Put this card from your hand into the soul of Prism Dragon item on your field. This card is in the soul of an item. That item gets power plus 6,000 silver and can attack even if there's a monster in your center. So basically allowing you to use your weapon. Um, this one basically gives it um, 6,000 power and soul guard. So now your Prism Dragon items aren't going to be easily just popped or destroyed. Because I believe Prism Dragons did not have a counter spell for that. So now your um, Prison Dragon items aren't going to be easily um, destroyed because this card's going to be the soul. It's going to have soul guard, obviously, and also it's going to be usable to, you know, clear your opponent's center or maybe attack, like, with this card right here. So it's basically almost the exact same thing, except it's some different stats. 4,000 power, critical 2, 7,000 defense, critical, sorry, size 2. Put this card from your hand into the soul Prison Dragon item on your field. This card is still an item. That item gets critical plus 2, soul guard, and can attack even if your opponent Sorry, even if you have a monster in your center. So it basically gives you an extra 2 crit to attack with, including the effects from your items as well. So now, you can have your crystal spikes being able to burn one from your opponent while able to attack deal 2 damage. So, still being pretty lethal and something your opponent really has to watch out for, which can be really annoying. And also, speaking of annoying, this card's also incredible. Um, size 0, 0 power, 0 uh, critical, 6,000 defense, start your opponent's final phase, deal 1 damage. I'm absolutely loving the burn damage from Prison Dragons. It's just so fun to play with. But yeah, really cute Prism Dragon right there, size 0. Start your opponent's final phase, deal 1 damage. Pair that up with Whiskit, that's 5 burn damage right there. If you somehow keep all 3 on the field. And then uh, you got your Impact Cristiano Crystal Shoot. Now, 
This card does seem like something your opponent would have to deal with. 6,000 defense is really annoying, especially because most cards average depending on the card. But again, it is easy to take out, you know, it's not really threat because it's zero power, zero defense. But still, that one burn damage can be pretty annoying, especially if it has to stay on your field, your opponent has to deal with it. We've also got these new Topaz Spike, new interesting Prism Dragon item, doesn't look too great to me. At the end of a battle where your Prism Dragon is attacked, if you have Prism Dragon in your center, gain a life, once per turn. So, you're basically just stacking life, which honestly isn't anything too great for Prism Dragons in my opinion. Usually you would want Gauge or maybe Draw Power for Prisms, because Draw Power is a big thing with Prism Dragons, so trust me. There's also this interesting card right here, Prism Guardian, Spell for Star, Dragon World Defense. For this turn, as long as you have a monster center, you do not take damage. So this card basically ensures, you know, if you don't have a Thora, then you're not taking that effect damage. You can still bring out Cristiano Crystal Shoot. And then we also got a new Cosmo Dragon right there, another one, this card. When I saw this card, I read it for the first time, I thought, I, like... I literally had to reread it because it just seems so powerful. We got Crystallization Phenomenon right here. Spell card defense from Star Dragon World. If you only cast this card of Monster Understand it was destroyed during this turn. So I don't see why you can't use this with Neo Dragons as well, but obviously it's meant to be used with Prism Dragons. Pay one life, counter, draw cards, so that's already a free draw for only one life. Then choose monster in your opponent's field. For this turn, nullify all abilities of that monster and rest it. So you're basically neutralizing their monster and it can't do anything. So you're so like if your opponent's boss is trying to attack your Thor in the center, pop this card, you get an extra card in your hand, and then you just get to stop boss's abilities. It's rested, it can't uh, stand again or double attack, and its abilities are nullified. It's useless, you basically shut down like the star of their deck basically. So this card seems just way too strong to me. One life, you get to null, like I understand it's only for that turn. Still though, that's insane. Like you get to nullify abilities and rest it at the same time. That that seems so strong, and you, especially that you can use this with um, Neo Dragons as well. For example, you move your Jack to the center, it's destroyed. Use this counter in effect. This card just seems way too strong. It seems like a must-have you need in like every single Prism Dragon because you get a free draw and you get the nullify abilities. So that's really awesome. Again, it's not like you're using it um, offensively. Like you can't really use it. Um, I guess technically, if monster in your center is destroyed during this turn, but again. You wouldn't have to have a Thora to use this, but still, it just it just seems way too strong to me. Again, there's tons of other cards you guys can have a look at as well. Another interesting um, card right here: Size to be Prison Dragon Field. Um, choose either one less monument opponent's field. Discard this card if you do destroy the chosen card. So, quite a few interesting cards for Star Dragon World. Again, Toilet um, is looking interesting. I don't know if I'd really play it. I've never tried on BFA, but they've got some interesting cards. Heroes are looking pretty interesting as well. This card also looks really interesting. So we got Forward Squad Bumpy. 2,000 power, 1,000 defense, critical of 1, size 0. At the end of this card's battle, you may choose a Thunder Empire on your field, put this card into drop zone. If you do, for this turn, the chosen card gets critical plus 1. So it's kind of like a Boomerang Dragon, except at the end of the card's battle, obviously you don't get it back to your hand, so you can't use it over and over again. But still, pairing this up with Vats, let's say you have Globs or something else, then give extra critical 1 to your Vats. You get an extra attack with this guy, extra 1 crit. Plus giving extra crit to bots, and if you have 4 life or less, that triple attack, every critical makes a difference, especially if you got other stuff stacking on bots, just to get some more damage off the fighter. So definitely this card, I can definitely see being used a lot, or at least I would, just getting that extra critical to any Thunder Empire on your field, and because it's just the attribute, it doesn't sit, specify it has to be a monster or item, just the attribute, you can use it on your item as well. So really interesting Prism Dragon right there. There's also a ton of other really interesting cards like this one right here. Chaos White Shield. You guys can see the stats. When this card is put in, drops them for the field. The next time damage you dealt to you is reduced to zero. So my goodness, it's basically free damage reduction. Because you basically have this on your field. You can use Chaos Drain and destroy it. Keep your gear god on the field. And then next time damage you dealt to you is reduced to zero. So it seems like a pretty insane card. This card, I don't know why, it seems scary to me. Just because when you link attack and you get penetrate. Pretty straightforward, you guys can pause the video, have a look at it for yourself. I think that's a bit all I want, <laughs> if I could talk. I think that's all I wanted to go through, there's also some other really interesting cards as well. Ideal Invincible Dragon, Vile Dragon, really nice card, gets you that gauge, um, a life, a double attack, also has Penetrate and Soul Guard. We've also got this interesting card, which I believe I went over last time, but abilities can't be nullified, you can also get that Penetrate, Counter Attack, Move, Double Attack, Soul Guard, so a lot of abilities right there. This really interesting spell card right here, Thunder Empire Get. 
Pay one life, choose one of the following two. You may only cast Thunder X Attract once per turn. One gauge, search your deck for up to one Thunder Emperor item. Put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Choose an impact or dragon world monster from your drop zone and add it to your hand. So you can use this with sun dragons, whatever. It doesn't require Thunder Empire, so I can definitely see this card being pretty useful. And I believe it is triple rare when I checked. So again, this also drag royale, which is really strong. Like, there's so many cards right here for Black Dragons, and they are looking pretty insane. You've also got your Searcher for Gear God as well, in case for those who didn't know about it. Anyways, let's have a look at some of the recent cards and point out a few. So we got this card in the anime, Black Crest Dragon Urobello, 2,000 power, 4,000 defense, critical 1, size 1. Once cards are screwing, top card deck new gauge, gain a life, there's a Black Dragon with set on your field, and uh, extra gauge. So you're basically getting 2 gauge right there. Um, you got a new artwork for Black Dragon Shield, which looks incredible. You got this card that was also used in the anime, Black Mark Dragon Red Set, 5,000 power, 1,000 defense, critical 1. When this card attacks, you gain 1 life, and if you have a Black Dragon set on your field, this card gets power plus 2,000. So, again, they've also made some other interesting Black Dragons with abilities. I'm not going to go over every single one. We've also got this card as well. Some really, like, really strong chaos items right here. One gauge, rest this card, if you do, you have to get an extra gauge. So, basically, you're investing that one gauge to get extra gauge later on. Counter, I can even put this card field drops in. If you do, for this turn, nullify all penetrate on your opponent's field. So, making sure that even if your gear god is destroyed, even if you use chaos Train to keep on the field, you're still not taking that penetrate damage. We've also got some more chaos cards. Yep, yeah, just just more. The chaos cards seem to be getting everything. You've got your Drago Energy for chaos. You've got your... Um, all monsters on your field are critical plus one. Jeez, that's gonna be scary. Like, there's just so many cards for chaos. It's looking really interesting. And hey, look, you also got this Daredevil um, impact monster, which is pretty cool. This card is also a really interesting one as well. Death Earth Invitation. So dispel Black Dragon Death for Darkness Dragon World. Your opponent cannot call monsters from the drop zone. So, um, I don't really see in what situation that'd be really useful. Maybe for some cards, because some cards go final phase. I'm thinking about, like, death, for example. But it's only your opponent. But the second ability, counter act. Choose a monster item in your opponent's field. Pay two gauge if you do rest the chosen card. So, for those who don't know, rest is really strong because it basically shuts down the card unless they have an ability that allows it to stand it, then it can attack. But again, that's all complicated. I don't want to talk like I'm an expert on that and confuse any people because I probably am. So I'm not going to go too into it, but rest is... A really strong ability so death of invasion looking really interesting and it's a monster or item as well so really interesting there but then there are also cards like King Kaiserman that can't be rested you got this card right here get a gauge and a life equal to the number of monsters you control so wow you also got this impact right there if your opponent has five life or less two gauge you'll damage your opponent equal to the total critical of all monsters on your center so Again, looking at the cards in this set, they look incredible. Um, I think that's about it, but I do want to point out maybe one or two extra cards. This card, my goodness. Okay, we've got Heavenly Armament Machine Xena, 2000 power, 1000 defense, critical 2. When a Neo Dragon with this card and soul attacks, you gain a life. Oh, by the way, it's a, it's a Guardians as well. Counter around, choose a Neo Dragon or Guardian you field and put this card from the field into the soul. Um, or, sorry, in, from the field or soul to the bottom of your deck. If you do the next time, the chosen card will be field, it remains on the field. So, not only are you gaining life when your Neo Dragon attacks with it, you're also um, being able to keep that Guardians on the field as well. So, it doesn't necessarily need to have a Soul Guard to keep it on the field, which is really nice, especially for Guardians. I do feel like maybe Guardians need a bit more, but it's still something really nice to have. But then you're also giving that to Neo Dragons as well. And also, you know, it's not when a Guardians or Neo Dragon on his soul attacks to gain a life, it's only Neo Dragons. So, that's a little disappointing, but still seemed pretty darn strong to me. We've also got this interesting card as well. You have a soul of a card field, field drop zone, penetrate. Um, this card right here, uh, Poison Diver, tough to card deck, new gauge, then you can gain two life if you have Black Dragon set. And just a ton, a ton of spells. You guys can check out Buddy Spoiler, go to X sets if you guys go up here, X sets, and then this is Booster Pack Volume 2, and these are the two trial decks. S yeah, trial decks, because I'm used to saying starter decks, because for some reason Bushy Road went from trial decks to starter decks, it's confusing. But yeah, 
that's basically it for me. Um, sorry guys, there hasn't really been too many uploads for Buddy Fight. I'm kind of working on the bridge series. I had the script done. I'm still working on announcing the video. I wanted to draw something like a logo or something for the channel. Or just something that I could show in the video. Even though there is a link to the script and stuff like that in the Discord. So, link to the Discord in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if this was a little bit too fast or felt rushed. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me what you think these cards. Do you think Chaos is looking overpowered? Do you think Black Dragons are looking um, really cool? Or whatever you think. And also, what are you looking most? Uh, what are you looking to the most um, coming to this set? Are you looking most to the Black Dragons to the Chaos cards? Because they're looking really interesting, especially some new support to Death. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.